A girl bought an abandoned island in the ocean for $15,000 and made something incredible on it. Hello friends, who among us has not dreamed of our own island in the beautiful azure waters, where you can meet sunrises and sunsets every day, listen to the singing of the birds and the sound of waves, look at the endless white beaches enjoying the aroma of the sea air? Well, of course, many will say that such fantasies are only for the rich, for those who have at least a couple million dollars in their accounts. But what if I was to tell you that to become the owner of a private island, you don't need a big fortune? On the contrary, the most ordinary housewife can become a millionaire, having once bought a small island for almost free. Don't believe me? Then you should definitely hear this story. Australian Melito Hunter, until 2005, was the most ordinary housewife who only dealt with household issues and went shopping from morning until late at night. And by the way, she didn't even think about creating something with her own hands back then. But only one case changed everything. In early 2005, Melito's husband became unemployed. Several months in search of a job did not lead to a result, and already disappointed, the family was ready for the worst. This continued for some time until the end of 2005. Melito's husband was invited to work in Cambodia. Naturally, moving from developed Australia to a not-so-rich country in Asia was a real challenge for the family. But since there were no other options, the spouse was forced to agree. And of course, his wife went to Southeast Asia with him. As Melito recalled, we were not at all delighted with this trip, and therefore we agreed that we initially planned to stay in Cambodia for a year, and then after saving some money, we would leave for a noisy but well-developed and understandable to a civilized person New York. Arriving in Cambodia, the young couple was confused for some time. All this seemed alien to them, and even a little scary. But since we have already accepted the challenge, it means we need to spend all this time with benefit," said Melita later. Every weekend, the couple traveled and got to know this country more and more, and to their surprise, everything turned out to be not so bad. Incredibly beautiful nature, friendly and helpful people, and of course, the beaches that are washed by waters of the Gulf of Thailand. So once again going on a weekend to the southwest of the country, namely to the Koh Rong Archipelago, the girl's attention was drawn to a small island called Song Sa. But the fact is that a small piece of land was in a terrible state. Deforestation, fishing, and garbage thrown ashore. All of this created a depressing picture. I remember then I asked our guide why it was so dirty here, to which I heard the answer that the island is nobody's business and no one cares about it. He also added as a joke with a smile on his face that it is for sale, and if you want it, you can buy it for yourself and put things in order. So the words of the guide, who didn't even think about it twice, became a turning point in the lives of our couple. The very next day, they decided to find out how much the abandoned island costs and were surprised by what they heard. Local authorities were ready to sell it for only $15,000, but with one condition, the buyer must put it in order and that would cost a lot. This is how the family acquired their island in 2005 to bring its natural beauty back. For some time, the island remained untouched, but two years later, Alito received a loan from the state at a low interest rate, and work began working on the island. By the way, friends, 15 years have passed since then and Hunter still lives on the shores of the Gulf of Thailand with her husband and two adopted children. Though their quality of life has changed, has changed for the better, the money received from the state was enough to restore the island, and in 2008, a private resort was built on top of it. Today, a paradise called Song Sa Resort is a Khmer restaurant, bar, spa services, and of course, stunning and untouched nature. In 2012, the island received an award from the Cambodian government as a pioneer in luxury tourism based on the conservation of natural resources. In cooperation with the Cambodian government and other investors, the island was completely rebuilt in the same year. The resort's style draws inspiration from Cambodian fishing villages throughout the Koh Rong archipelago. All 27 villas have indoor and outdoor showers and a private pool. Saving nature is also a major theme on the private island of Sung Sa, and guests can visit the resort's life center to learn about the local environment and the work being done to protect it. There are tours available for adults and children, allowing them to see how coral is grown, get to know the local mangrove forests, or visit some of the projects the resort started in the local village, where they set up a waste management system and agricultural projects. The island is only a few kilometers area-wise, but there are mangrove forests, remote beaches, and tropical jungles. 
and the cost per day of stay on the island is approximately $900. Maybe some will say that it's a lot, but as it shows, there are no problems with attracting tourists. All real estate on the island is made of natural or recycled materials, wood or stone, and in some cases, even the remains of old boats. You will also not be offered Coca-Cola, hamburgers, sausages, and other similar dishes, only local and healthy. In 2014, Melita launched a new project in which a villa on the island can now not only be rented, but also bought. Though the price tag is far from small, from $900,000 to $2 million for a hut, but there were a lot of people willing to buy it. It is also worth noting that the residents were immediately delighted with the Australian woman's activities, because Cambodia has problems with employment, and at the moment, more than 200 residents from other islands in nearby villages are employees of the wonderful resort. However, this was not what made the girl a local hero. It was the fact that, in addition to maintaining the resort, Melito is actively engaged in charity and very different kinds of it. Melito spends some of the profits on the education of local children. She builds schools and employs teachers. She also supports environmental and other initiatives in Cambodia. All this made a simple former housewife a real hero for a once unfamiliar and foreign country. The resort has received a huge number of awards, among which there are world-famous ones, which are given only to the best. You can get to the Little Island Paradise by boat from Sahanakful, which is located less than 30 kilometers from the island, or by helicopter from Phnom Penh. Melito herself, along with her husband and children, has lived on the island for more than 15 years and does not want to leave. As the woman says, now this is our home. We are accustomed to this place and want to make it even better. We do not need big money. All we need, we already have. And that is fresh air, snow white beaches, and crystal clear water. And of course, the smiles of residents who simply idolize Melito for all that she has done for them. It so happened that an absurd combination of circumstances, difficulties, and a lack of work for her husband made the modest housewife the queen of a magnificent resort that is incredibly successful. Here is such a story, friends, which once again shows all of us that after the black stripe, there should always be a white one, and everything that happens is for the best. The main thing is just to consider the prospects. How do you feel about the whole idea of a resort on an abandoned island? Be sure to write your opinion in the comments. I guess that's all for today. Like the video and see you soon.